Hi Anna, I just wanted to um, say thank you first of all and also thank you to all the people that have been um, sending messages on on um, your channel. I think it's amazing and it's um, really the people that I've listened to that have made me um, do this message and so many things that I've heard have resonated with me. I remember listening to a guy called Mark from Lancashire and um, a girl called Molly from London. So many of us, Liam as well, people like this. There's been so many actually, I, you know, I'm naming a few names, but there's so, so many people that have encouraged me to um, speak about this. And so many things that I've heard people say has resonated with me in terms of, you know, the control, what the governments are doing, and also the fact that all is not what it seems. And um, you yourself have said it's very dark, and it is. But the thing that is really breaking my heart in a way is the fact that the most vulnerable people in society are suffering. Um, my name's Elevi, by the way, I don't know if I said that, and I am, I'm a musician, a YouTuber, and um, most importantly, I'm a father. I've been in the family courts for a, a long time. I'm alienated from my children, and I've done a lot of work in terms of that. And I know what alienation is like from the people that you love. And the most hurtful thing that's happened for me is that so many um, people are now alienated. It's it's like a war between people's head and their heart. And the people that are feeling this in their hearts, um, I can only speak for myself in a sense because of this whole alienation thing and the fact that um, people are looked at as a threat now, everybody around you is looked at as a threat. We're all having to wear these masks and I don't know what's gonna really happen for the children because I've heard a lot of talk to do with the effects of masks on your health and stuff like this, but what about the effects of masks on our um, actual humanity and our spirits and our souls because the face is a very important thing. We we learn to read people's faces, read people's gestures and mannerisms, and especially in terms of children who are growing up, um, who are being divided from the people that they love, their friends, their family. These children are going to grow into a world that is not the world that any of us want, I don't believe. And we, um, what shocks me is the fact that the division the fear has happened so very quickly. In just a matter of months, we've all been conditioned to accept certain things and we've all been conditioned to look at each other as a threat. Um, it's, it's heartbreaking and um, I don't know because it feels like the world that we knew has been just overlaid with um, a prison now. Um, where each other, everybody is, you know, the prison warden. We're all policing each other. Um, I've seen so many times people getting um, abused and attacked for not wearing masks. And um, you can sense, you can sense an air of um, oppression. So, yeah. I just wanted to basically say that um, there was a guy from Bristol as well, I, I heard who was talking about um, people speaking out. And I think that's the last one I've listened to. And it's the one that finally prompted me to make this video. Um, I think people are losing their voices. So it's so wonderful and um, precious that you've actually given people a voice. People are losing that sense of the fact that they matter. Um, I've spoken about the children, but also older people, the, you know, people with mental health issues, all, all kinds of people now in this time are just being alienated and just suffering. So, um, I don't know the thing. I don't have any answers. I know that people need to be brave enough to sh start showing um, their fellow human beings love again. You know, in whatever way they can. I um, street perform a lot. And the last time I did it, which was a while ago, 
Um, while this was going on, though, after, um, after the lockdown, um, I remember making a joke and um, saying if somebody wanted to give me a hug, and somebody did come and give me a hug. And, you know, at the time, it was a bit of a funny joke and, and stuff like that. I really loved it at the time, but the fact is this. Now that that has become like a really precious moment for me because that person who came and hugged me when I was performing was a stranger and it was a brave act if you think about what's happening now. It's a, a revolutionary act if you think about what's happening now. Um, so I, I will just like protests like the protests that happened in Berlin are wonderful and you know but it seems to me that people are protesting about a lot but in their personal lives, in their everyday living and stuff, you know, as we go around, it's, it's a case of, of just being afraid to reach out to people, to say hello to people, um, because we're all having to social distance. We're all having to look at each other as a threat, as a danger. I just hope that we can all reach into our hearts again and you know find that we're all we're all need we all need each other and we're all connected and to not lose that connection um that's it really so thank you anna and thank you to the rest of the people i've spoken out bless you